Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is find pairs with given sum in W like this. Right, so as usual, first of all, we will be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we will be coding it up. Right. So before starting with the problem statement and further in the video, make sure to subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed the channel till now. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you and I believe the channel will be helpful for you and the most important thing is that make sure to turn on the bell icon so that whenever uh, we are uploading any video you can get the notification for the same because most of the times what happens that uh, you are not getting the notification and you miss some job updates, some job opportunities or placement related information so it's important to do the same. Turn on the bell icon and make sure to join our telegram community the link for the telegram channel is in the description as well. so let's get started with the problem statement part the problem says given a sorted w linked list of positive distinct elements so first of all uh, the thing is that the w linked list that we do have that is sorted and it contains positive distinct elements our task is to find pairs in a w linked list whose sum is equal to given value target right so let's understand the same with the help of an example so let's say uh, this is a W linked list that we are having and the target value that we have is 7. So these are the pairs, right, whose sum is equal to given value or 7, right? So 1, 6 and 2, 5, right? So if we will sum them up, we will get 7. For the next example, the target is 6. So the only pair that is possible is 1, 5 and that's what we are having in the output. Right, so what we have to do is we have to complete the function find pairs with given sum which takes head root of the W linked list and an integer target as input parameter and returns an array of pairs. If there's no such pair, return empty array. Now expected time complexity is big of n and auxiliary space is big of 1. Right, so first of all think with the brute force approach that how we can solve this. Like right? the first approach that will come to your mind would be that what we can do is we can hold on one element and then we can check for the remaining elements right and this for example you took one right so now you will add this one with the remaining elements and you will check whether on summing up uh, we are able to get target or not so one two one four one five one six so 1, 6, if you will do, if you will sum them up, we are able to get 7. Further also, you will check 1, 8, 1, 9. So the first pair that we are able to get is 1, 6. Then you will pick 2. And again, same thing, you will be uh, summing or you will be taking this 2 with all the remaining elements that are there. So 2, 4, 2, 5. So you can say 2 and 5, the sum is going to give us 7, right? 2, 6, 2, 8, 2, 9. So that's how you will compare, right? So 1, uh, so basically there will be 2 loops involved, right? Oh, first one is for the traversal of each element on the array and the next one is for, to take like as I mentioned the first we, this element we took as constant and then we are picking the remaining of the elements we are taking them together and we are checking if the sum is equal to the target or not right so that's why two loops will be involved here and what would be the time complexity if I last so the time complexity is going to be big of n square right but can we do something better than this because what the question is expecting from us we go off and time complexity without using any extra space. So, what is the thing here is that this is a sorted doubly linked list, right? So, can you think of something, any algorithm that we can use and we can achieve the outcome that we are looking for? Are you able to think? Can we use two pointer algorithm here? Just think about it. Can we use? Of course, we can use, right? So, let's have a discussion on the same. How basically two pointer is going to help us here? Okay, so let's say uh, this is the W links that we are having. So we can take a uh, pref or okay, let's name them as left as well as right. So initially they both are pointing to head only, right? To head only. Okay, but what we want is that burn pointer should be there at one and burn at the end. Right, so what we will do, we will move this line to the end. Now for this we can use the loop, right? Continue doing, so right will be here now and left will be here. Okay, now basically now you must be clear, right? So we will be using a loop. 
okay we'll be using a loop here so before talking about the condition that we should put in the loop so let's understand how two pointers going to help us here so first as if this is already a sorted w matrix right so we'll take 1 and 9 1 and 9 what is the sum 10 and what is our target 7 So the sum is greater than than that of target. So what we can do? Just you tell me. What should be a suitable decision? Should I move this left to the next step, or should I move this right to the to its previous one? Right to here. The sum is greater than that of the target value. Of course, if it is greater, so what I expect is that the sum value should reduce. And if I want it to reduce. Then of course I'll update the value of right as right dot prep right that is sure. So right value is going to be um, the data at right is going to be eight plus. So again we'll do the summation. Eight plus one nine is still the value is is still the value is greater than that of target. So again we'll be updating the value of right. Okay. Now six plus one we got the target right. So the pair that we got that we're gonna add in our array list that is one six. Now So if we got the pair, the sum was equal to that of target. So now we have to update for both for left as well. So left will be moved in the in left dot next right in the right side, and right we are going to proceed it towards the left side. Right now we have two as well as five. Right, we have two as well as five. So this is also equal to what? This is also equal to what? The target, right? So this also pair we got. Now, a uh, left would be in, uh, would be implemented, and right would be moved toward moved toward left, right? So now you can see left as well as right, both have become both have become equal, right? So that's it. We can stop right there, right? Uh, now, if we are taking one more, see, so this was our first example. If we are taking one five six, let's say, if we are having one five. So this would be our left. This would be our right. Now again, same thing. Six plus one seven. The target is what? Target is six. So we'll be updating the value of right. Okay, because the sum is greater than that of target. So now, if you will do the sum, so five plus one. So we got the sum equal to that of target. So we got the pair one comma five. Right. Now, if that is the case. So, uh, as if the sum became equal to that of target, so in that case, we are going to update the value for both, for left as well as for right. So, left will be moved forward. So, left will be moved here, and right will be moved in the previous direction, right? Okay, right will be updated as right dot prep. So, right will be moved here. Now you can see. Now you can see what. So, one more condition that we need to put uh, in our while loop that where we are checking all this condition. That that what we can check that left dot pref not equal to that of right. So here you can see that right has moved to the previous of left, right? So left dot pref not equal to right. That also we need to check. Two conditions will be there basically. Or uh, the one is the left should not be equal to right and left dot pref not equal to. So that's it, right? So that's how a two-pointer algorithm will work, right? I hope that you must have got the idea. So if the logic is clear, then let's simply move to the implementation part now. So let's have a look at the code part. So here you can see we are having two-pointer left as well as right, both initialized with head. So this is the array list of array list that we are going to write down, and right we are updating it as because we have to move it to the right. To the rightmost side, so we are updating its value, right? So till the time right dot next is not equal to null, we are updating the value of right as right dot next, right? So for that particular thing. So now what we are doing here is that uh, till the time left is not equal to right and left dot prep not equal to right. Uh, so we are taking the sum of left dot data and right dot data, and here if some value that we have got if it is equal to that of target, then simply uh, we are adding this to the result. And we are updating the value of left as well as right. So left equal to left dot next, and right equal to right dot prep. Otherwise, if sum is lesser than that of target, so I need to update the value of who? Update the value of left. So left equal to left dot next. Otherwise, the last case would be that sum is 
greater than that of targets. In that case, write value could be updated as write equal to write out prime and at the last year, mm -hmm. simply that is R H. Right? So I hope the code part is clear. And uh, even like sometimes you guys mentioned that to please do submit the code as well. So guys, I have already submitted the code and that's totally working. Right? So that's why even uh, I have taken this code in this video for the reference purpose, right? So I have provided the score in the description in case you want to check it from there for the reference. So you can just check. Right, so that's it from my side. Thank you so much for watching. I hope the video helped you. Thank you everyone. Don't forget to share and subscribe my channel.